Hello YouTube and Facebook people, welcome back to my videos. Today is Vlogtober day 12. I'm sorry I missed yesterday. Life happens and I was crazy exhausted. But this is Valerie from the future. I've come to greet you because I didn't greet you <laughs> in the other clip. So hi, hello, welcome back. Um, we are in, I can't pronounce it, War, War Bluster? <laughs> what city are we Warminster? in? Warminster. Warminster, Pennsylvania. Chad had his training today, and while he did that, I went out and I was thrifting. Um, I did pretty good. I only got lost once, so that's a victory. I only cut in front of a few people, but I didn't crash. Nobody honked. I'm sure they were angry, but they were nice and didn't honk at me. Victory. <laughs> Chad's sitting next to me, but he's in his jam jams, so we can't see him. Um, yeah, I'll show you the other clip. We left a little early from the festivities this evening. We're having our own party. We've got Pepperidge Farm cookies. We've got, what do you call them? Smarty cakes, tasty cakes, M&M's, Snickers, fruit snacks, another tasty cake, combos, the pizza flavor, of course, and those little sticks that you dip in the cheese. We got some of those and we got a half a gallon of milk half a gallon of milk to drink. So we're gonna put some law and order on the TV and that's what we're gonna do this evening. Tomorrow is New York. I will try and video a little bit of that, but it might be a little weird because we'll be going with a group. And I don't wanna force anyone to be on on my, my weird little YouTube channel. That'll probably be inappropriate if you do. That's true, that's too much <laughs> editing. I can't edit out all the cussing and all the inappropriateness. I'll just do voiceover and go beep every time something inappropriate said. Just kidding. But anyway, here's the haul. I hope you enjoy it. And I will see you tomorrow for Vlogtober Day 13. Okay, I'm going to do the haul in the car. I am at the training center where Chad's at. And there's going to be a bunch of mechanic people walking by watching me do this. But what you going to do? The sun's setting and it needs to be done. So here we go. We're not missing Vlogtober today. We're not missing it. Sorry for this beautiful lighting, but we're not missing it. So the sketchy thrift store that I was just talking about, that's where I got this stuff. Um, this one right here is Free People. Free People, size medium. And it's like uber, uber huge for, one, for free people. It's pretty big, so that's saying something. But it's like, I don't even know if I can give you the full effect of how big this shirt is. It's ginormous. Maybe I can pull my seat back. We're gonna have to put my seat all the way back so you can see this shirt. That's how big it is. Okay, that's as far back as I can go. Here we go. I'm gonna show you tube and everybody in the parking lot, this free people top. It's for sale if anybody wants to buy it. Yeah, there's a guy watching me. Can you see it? It's huge, but it's pretty cool. It's this ribbed, stretchy turtleneck with I guess dolman sleeves. They're all the way at the bottom of the sleeve. So I'm not sure what you call it. I call it making money. So there's that. Um, the price, I'll give it to you together because I don't really know what she charged. This was supposed to be $8, but like I was saying, wasn't. <laughs> so size medium. You guessed it. Winnie the Pooh. No poo left behind. If you see poo, pick it up. Any kind of poo, pick it up. There's my advice. Words of wisdom. Go pick up poo. Oh, it's not for sale though. Sorry, this one's my poo. <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. I feel like I'm actually getting back to myself. It's a haul video. This is what I like doing. And I love doing it for hundreds of mechanics all at once, live. I should roll down my window so people can hear me. They can see me, so they can hear me. But look how cute that poo is. Hugging Piglet. And he's wearing a I got nervous. <laughs> I thought it was Scanner Danner, it's not. But it's this hunter green, turtle neck, fleece. I was trying to say turtle neck um, sweater. Oh, there's so many people coming. Okay. I only went to two thrift stores. That's all I made it to, because this first one that I'm about to show you, I was in there for four and a half hours. I told Chad, I texted him and I was like, hey, you need, he brought merch. I told him, hey, you need to give away a lot of shirts because we can't take them back with us because I need to bring this on the plane. Cause it'd probably be too expensive to ship. It was $5 and it's this 
you see these in preschools um you put puzzles in them so i got it for my mom for at home so that the kids could have their puzzles organized but for five bucks that's a heck of a deal for one of these and it's in like perfect condition there's no nicks or scrapes or nothing so i got a little off track with that and picked up a 10 pound furniture item but i i made up for it with everything else um i found these the price is there like i said it was like four dollars for tops six for sweaters so on and so forth the shoes were as marked these ones were 15 dollars, so i did pay up they're keens but it's like a keen boot and it's a waterproof one american built so i thought it was pretty cool lace up like work boot style it looks really really new it's still really grippy look i even got the other one uh yeah i thought the I thought it was an alright pickup. I'm not sure what the comps are going to be. I didn't look. I just went with it. Now let's see. What did I get? I already forgot. So $6 I guess. I think it was $6 for sweaters. I typically wouldn't pay up. But I do like. I typically wouldn't pay up. And I typically don't buy this brand. Because it's so oversaturated. It's Anthropology, But this one is Sleeping on Snow. And this is one of their brands that does do better. So I did pick it up. I'm not going to lose money on it. I'm just not sure what the market is. But we are in the colder months. And it's got really cute floral detailing. And it's a mock neck ribbed sweater. I think it'll do good. And it's got it on both. I'll have to look at comps. But I'll probably start it at at least 40 So we'll see. Next, I don't even remember what I got. That's how long of a day it's been. Oh, this is my first time finding this. I'm pretty excited. It's pair, a pair. No, it's one. It's All Saints, made in Turkey, size large. And it's just this light weight top. Um, there's nothing too special about it. Sorry, you can't see, but the front is lower than the, the front is higher than the back. The back is lower. That's called a high-low, Valerie. <laughs> oh, Lord. And then it's got these little cutouts. It's not a shoulder cutout. Where's the shoulder? Is it a shoulder? But no, because if that's there, I think it's an elbow cutout. It's on both of them. It's not just a hole. <laughs> if so, it's got two matching holes. I'm just kidding. Um, I think it's shoulder cutouts. No, I just said it. It's elbow cutouts. I'm not sure what the point of it is, but... Rich people like their elbows to show. So I picked it up. No idea what the comps are because I've never found it. Never had to look it up. But this next item, I have three more things. This one I have actually sold before on Poshmark. It's a free people medium. And free people, like anthropology, is oversaturated. I don't pick up everything I see, especially when it's priced a little more. I'm not sure if they counted this as a sweater or a shirt. I didn't look. I just figured either way I'm okay with it. Um, I don't know what you call that. It's like a waffle, like thermal type material. This one is in a dark green. The one I had before was black, but it sold for, I think, $38. So I feel comfortable picking this up because I've sold it before. And this is kind of a style that people are looking for. The guy next to me. Hi, Mr. Mechanic. I'm a YouTuber too. Well, I don't know if you're a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber. Hi, I film in my car. And talk to myself. It does have some peeling. So I'm going to have to sweater shave it a little bit. But it's worth the money. Um, I forgot what else I was going to say. Because, because I feel awkward. <laughs> I'll probably start it again. I think I probably had it last time at 40. And took an offer. <sighs> People. Next item. Two more items. This I'm not sure exactly. If it's going to be for me or Poshmark. But, again, like, I can't leave it behind. I just can't leave behind old Looney Tunes stuff because it's so dang cute. This one says, who me, stressed? And then it's Daffy Duck ripping up the paper. But it's, like, embroidered. It's a size large. I don't know if I said that. Men's large. Um, there was a mark on it. That's why I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it. So I was a little iffy. I didn't know if I could get it off. If it doesn't come off, I'll wear it because, like, I don't care if my clothes are stained and holy. It's called fashion. Um, but I'll try chambray, kind of like a dad shirt. 
Um, actually, when I was in that last thrift store, the people in front of me, or the lady in front of me, was talking to the cashier. And she's like, man, I hope that stain comes out. And then the lady was like, oh, here's a good tip. So here's a tip. Are you listening? She said, you go to the aisle that has, like, the disinfectant wipes, cleaners, and rug cleaners, like carpet cleaner. And there is by the brand Wool Light, and she said it's in a purplish colored bottle. Purchase that, it'll get any stain out. So I'm gonna try it. I'll experiment on Chad's shirts. <laughs> he's got a lot of greasy shirts, he's a mechanic, and he's a dirty mechanic. So, there we go. Oh, now I feel real awkward. I see one of Chad's people. <laughs> I believe that's one of Chad's people. Hi, Cody. <laughs> you can't see me, but I see you. Moving on, last thing I got. That guy's still sitting in his car next to me. I mean, we can both roll down our windows and he can learn something about stains. Yeah, the Wool Light, the Wool Light brand's pet remover. She says, yes, it does good for removing like pet stains, but it also gets out every other stain. So maybe that'll be an upcoming Vlogtober video. We shall see. And the last thing I picked up was only $6, which that's even cheaper than what it would have been in my town. But it's this Cavu bag, which these do pretty well. Um... Typically, the other styles are more sought after, but since this one is a plain black, which you're like, why would somebody want a plain back, black bag? It's kind of like Vera Bradley. She has all the crazy prints, but then she has like the black ones, and those ones do good too. That's how Cavu is. People, sometimes they just want to have a plain black bag, and that's what this is, and honestly, I think I might keep it. I just made eye contact with the guy next to me, and I feel weird. But I might keep this one. $6. I don't know. I'll look at the comps. Can you you hear my stomach growling? I'm really hungry. But that's all that I got shopping today. Um, I think I started at like 11.30 and now it's 5.30. Oh, that's not bad. Six hours? That wasn't a lot. Had a late start to my day though. It happens. Whoops. Um, so let's see. Drum roll for the stuff that I thrifted from the Philly Goodwill Outlet. With sarcasm I'm not good with sarcasm because here's what I got first thing is for my mom oh good there's another person as I'm about to hold this up it's this Carol Bennett um, album it's not for her to play I mean if she ever had a record player she could play it she doesn't so she won't but I thought it was cool me and, her, me and my mom are both fans of her I like her from mama's family I've watched the whole season or the whole series several times it's a good show it's funny I love her funny woman I like her. But yeah, I just thought she could like put it on a shelf or hang it up maybe. That's what I would do with it. And then the last thing I got, name brand high fashion couture is this coach little, I don't know, a coin bag maybe. It says coach poppy. And here's the bag. Um, It looks a little Dingy, maybe? I'm not sure if the color is supposed to be cream or white. Or off-white. I'm not exactly positive, but it did come with the little things that go with it. This says Coach Poppy on one side. Oops, there's the camera. And then that side, and it's got the little coach thing right there. And the zipper does work, and it's got this outer pocket. And then inside, you can, like, organize your cards. And put something there and something there. I don't know, even hold a chapstick or two. It's pretty small. So, yeah, there's that. Don't, I'm not going to say don't shop there, because I think people that watch me do shop there. I'm sorry. I didn't have any luck, but then again, I'm only a Poshmark reseller, so I was looking for women's clothing. Mainly women's clothing. Man, my stomach is going crazy. Oh, that's nice. Were you standing there the whole time I've been talking to myself? cute okay, well that's it sorry that's a lot of rambling vlogtober day 12. i need dinner chad needs to hurry up i need dinner oh actually who maybe i'll film some of him he's inside doing a uh what you call it they've got like a youtube -y table set up and they're gonna pass out their stickers and stuff and meet and greet the people the people me i'm the people that's kind of cool. I'm going to go take pictures of him and embarrass him. Not on purpose, but I think it's cool. 
So I'm gonna go take pictures, print them out, and I'm gonna stick them on my refrigerator. I'm gonna stick it on my mom's refrigerator. I'm gonna stick it on his mom's refrigerator. I'm gonna stick it on his mom's mom's refrigerator. <laughs> oh lordy, it's been a crazy day. Supposedly tomorrow is New York City. We'll see, we'll see what's happening. Chad was really, really sick this morning, so I'm not sure, God, I hate when my hat does that. Just pull that hair back, hide the ugly. If you saw anything you're interested in, feel free to visit my Poshmark closet at Valamilk. I'll have a link down below. Also follow me on Instagram. It's my personal page and it has everything you want to know about me. Follow me. It's linked down below. Also, if you enjoy watching Vlogtobers, go visit my friends. They are doing it as well. They're doing a much better job at it than I am. I've been a slacker. There is Lynn and here's Lynn, Kimmy at one thread at a time and Candace at your best you. Go follow them, show them some support and tell them to keep up the good work because this is a lot of work to do. Let's all wave at the motorcycle going by. Hi, I'm talking to myself. Bye, it was nice to meet you. Okay, now I'm really gonna get off. So I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. I'm gonna do my very, 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 very best to do it and I'll see you guys tomorrow, bye.